Hey everyone, Zesh here and welcome to Shock Troops Overview. In the meantime, when Dr. Beef is too busy making Doom and Quake ports on SideQuest, we'll have our own iteration of it on the official store from Garage Collective. I'm mostly familiar with this studio simply because Stones of Harlath, which was surprisingly a really good project specifically for Quest platform. So going by track record so far, I think we'll be fine with this one as well. So Shock Troops is a pixel art action adventure game where we'll visit various environments in the galaxy too shoot our way through hordes of enemies and discover some kind of conspiracy that's set to end us all. First of all, as we all can tell, this game has a very unique graphic design going on. From the previous project I've experienced, I can tell that blending 3D environments to the sprites, all of those contrasting things works amazingly in VR. This time around is gonna be more action-packed gameplay since we were switching from spells to actual gunplay and in general that works better. Stones also had some kind of of open world scenario going on. I think the technical term would be instanced open world where you can explore whatever you want is just to some key environments you have to load into. I fully expect it to be a really fun game. It's gonna be also playthrough worthy if it's not gonna be overly scary but I'll handle myself. And it's pretty much gonna be destruction mayhem which what more can you expect of something that draws inspiration from doom and quake stuff. I mean it would be nice to have a good storyline. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Let's go to the galaxy. Let's see. <laughs> Orbital Research Lab AR-14, known for its groundbreaking research on cloning, emitted a brief mayday, then went silent, and hasn't responded to any communications since then. The shock troops are to investigate, rescue any potential survivors, and report back to HQ. Well, this is gonna be a horror game. Reloading is flicking weapon up and down, so simplified. There's already ambience, like... Is this Dread Holes? We'll even have some perks and skills. Okay. Oh, bitch. Weapon, gadget, use gadget. Commander, I pick up no signs of life. However, my motion sensor shows some activity. Proceed with caution. I can't to handle it. Hey! Stop it! Ow! Is my life regenerating? Of course not. Okay, that's... Pretty straightforward. Oh my god. <laughs> Commander, step on the telepod. It will allow you to resume your mission in case you get killed in action. Okay. Oh, the music starts. <laughs> this is Dread Host level. I don't like this. <laughs> Research lab. Try to find any leftover of the lab research for further inspection by HQ. This seems more arcadey comparing to stones. There's no apparent like store line, at least so far. I have a yellow key card, okay. It's like we're just thrown in into the combat. Shit.
Well done, Commander. You now need to evac. There is a freight train line that should take you to the other side of the station, where our ship can pick you up. Find the control room and reactivate the freight line. Uh huh. So we just progress through the levels, taking up key cards, unlocking areas. Holy hell, the ambience is heavy. <laughs> A red one, but I didn't see the doors for it. It also feels kind of a uh, roguelike. Maybe because of the setting. Hello. Return to stateroom. I didn't I didn't do anything apparently. I think it's here. Start the train to reach the other end of the station. They respawn. <laughs> I don't remember the way. Was well, somewhere. <laughs> it's good. Commander, we should reach our destination in seven minutes. The security network is showing a surge in activity. Expect some resistance. And be careful about not getting hit by the tunnel neon signage. <laughs> what the hell? An invasion. <laughs> Get off my train after each checkpoint they spawn. <laughs> we are midway to our destination, Commander. Close. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, sign. I'm playing on normal mode, at least for now. Are we good? Cut them. This is kind of what I exactly expected. Just make him. Or 
Alter, wird. Äh. You will need to recalibrate the four antennas of the communication array. Hey, don't do this. Oh wow, <laughs> the sound. No ammo. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be a, a good point to pause. <laughs> Overall, I really like the vibe. The environments are cool. The immersion is there, but it was the same case with stones. Like, this graphical blend really works well, and the gameplay is very much Doom-like, even though I've never played it. <laughs> it feels nice, very arcadey. Also pretty simplistic. You can just understand it immediately. I definitely see the flair of Garage Collective. They have a brand at this point that is very recognizable in the VR space for me. Will we actually continue it I think so oh my god <laughs> Jesus because there's a lot of playthroughs to do still but eventually I'm down for it